Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome to a small snippet of Ancient Warfare 2. Now I've been look in, uh, looking into this mod as part of the Let's Make a Mod Pack, uh, which you can see the playlist on my channel, well at least I hope so by the time that this episode goes out, but I just want to do a really quick uh, overview of how to work the courier. Now this, I can't manage to find absolutely anything anywhere that will allow me to, that will tell me how to properly use the courier so i want to explore some of the bits that i have found out when using this but i also want to use this video as sort of like a centralized place where people can put their own um you know instructions into here because there's still a couple of things that i'm really not very sure of so this courier is over here on this crop farm which is part of ancient warfare 2 i'm not going to get into all of the details on uh, how this thing works what i'm going to get into is the details of the courier. Now, not going to go into how you craft a courier or do a courier, you know, it's part of the, uh, the, the mod. You can get a courier by doing that uh, and, and doing the ancient warfare crafting. It's part of the system. Really not going to go into all of that. You know, you can find that elsewhere. But making the courier work is a pain in the backside. So, with the courier, you've got to give him a large back, uh, a pack, a uh, Blech. A backpack, that's the one. I'm giving him a large backpack so he can hold up to 36 slots worth of stuff just to cover myself. You can give him a smaller backpack, there are smaller ones available out there as well, uh, which you can go ahead and craft. But he also needs a routing order to tell him what to do and where to go. Now, the issue with this is, and I'm going to get rid of this at the moment, I'm going to have an inventory none on all of these. There's a block side, there is a direction and there is an inventory that those two correspond to. This is where I was going wrong. Um, so I, I tried for ages to find out somebody else who um, you know, was doing a, a spotlight on this, but nobody did. So I decided to go ahead and do this myself. The routing order requires you to press Z on somewhere where you want the courier to go. So I want the courier to go ahead, pick up the blackberries that are inside this inventory, and go ahead and put them into the warehouse that's um, available in this mod. You've got to do it on the warehouse interface. I was trying to do it on the control block, not sure if that works, but the warehouse interface definitely does. So I want to do that on the front there. Now, I can go ahead and give this routing order to this guy. He will do absolutely nothing, okay? He will do absolutely nothing. He's taking nothing, okay? He's putting absolutely nothing in. Let's get rid of the wheat. It's taking nothing and doing nothing. And this is where the interesting stuff comes in. You would expect it to work like this. Fill courier with blackberries. Okay. There we are. And fill, well, it would have been fill target. Fill target with blackberries. You'd expect it to work like that. I think everybody would expect it to work like that. Does it work like that? No. <laughs> It does not work like that. The, the blackberries are still there, and there's no blackberries in the warehouse. Let me just make it daytime really quickly. So, what the heck is going wrong? Well, there's two things. One thing is it's not fill courier, uh, courier, and it's not fill target. It's actually take match of blackberries and deposit match of blackberries. We're getting there. Not quite there just yet, but we are getting there. Still. It's not picking up the blackberries, and it's just stood staring at the warehouse interface. Absolutely nothing getting done here. So the other thing <laughs> that you have to do, it's very convoluted, very, very, um, you know, confusing. But the other thing you've got to do is match the side of what you want the inventory to be taken from. So if we wanted that, the top, to correspond to the north, what we would do, as you can see here, um, north is right here, it's the front of the block, we can go ahead and say top. For the inventory and that will correspond to the north direction and to the front so you can see the sides top up none but basically what we can do here north is now corresponding to the where you want to be able to take the stuff from so that would be north that would correspond to the inventory called top which is here I, now this is where I'm not entirely sure of. I don't know how to take out of or put into the resources and I don't know how to take out of and put into the special resources. Um, it doesn't say anything, it doesn't do anything about that. But if we should put this in here now, he should go pick up the blackberries like he is doing 
and deposit the blackberries, which he has gone ahead and done. And that is how you do a courier. My goodness gracious me, the amount of times I've looked around to try and find out how this guy works is crazy. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of testing to see if I can figure out how to pull from the special resources part. It's not actually giving me anything there. Or to take from the resources part. Okay, I have figured it out. It's actually not that hard when you come to think of it. When you know how the courier works, it's actually not that hard. Um, the resources, this tab right here, actually cor corresponds to the front inventory. The bottom one, I would assume, and I can't test this because I don't know what a special resource is, I would assume would correspond to a bottom uh, inventory. And that will go ahead and take stuff out of there. So if we take a look at the routing order that the courier has now, we've got him to take the match of blackberries from the top inventory. We've got him to deposit that into the warehouse interface. We've also got him to take the match from um, here, from the south inventory, which of course is the front, corresponds to the front, because it's the south face. You take a look, south is the front inventory. Okay. And then we've got him to deposit the match into the warehouse interface. Now, we come across another problem, given that routing order, and he'll go ahead and do it. He's already taken them, he's already put them into here. Or has he? Well, he would do, hang on a minute, I've got to actually take that back out. I think it's still got power in it from when I was testing this. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's go ahead and get the warehouse. Oops, it would help if I actually, uh, type this right. <laughs> Warehouse control block, there it is. Let's pop that right there. Brilliant. So that's going to go ahead and do its business. There's nothing in there at the moment. Let's test this out again by putting a blackberry in the top of there. He's going to put that into there. That is actually going to get stuck in here. There's a reason for this, and that is because it needs power. This control block will need power. Now, for some reason, sometimes, it will already have a, a residual amount of power in there and it'll just sort itself out. Not quite sure how that works or how I've managed to do that, but most of the time, it will get stuck in this warehouse interface block. So let's go ahead and put these into here as we would do. These will all get taken out by the man. There he is. Now he's gonna put them inside this and he's gonna like just pile it all into here have you finished yet? No? There we go. Now is near enough finished. So how do we get it into the actual warehouse itself? Well, you've got to get a hand cranked torque generator. You can't do this yourself. You just get a load of stuff coming down the bottom there. What you need, you need a worker. So let's get a worker. Let's pop him down right there. It's not going to do anything as he is. Workers really don't do much, but if you give him a hammer, He'll turn into a craftsman. Now the craftsman will find stuff that needs to be cranked. And he's already doing it. He's cranking away at this and he's giving that power. And the stuff from in here is now entering storage. That is how you use a courier. That is how briefly you use the warehouse to get stuff into your warehouse. My goodness gracious me. Like I said guys, this took me a while to be able to find out the information. And to save people the hassle, I thought I'd do a straight up kind of a guide to how to use the courier within um, advanced warfare. Now this is very basic, of course, you can go ahead and make him do other bits and bobs, but now you know how to get him basically moving around the place and doing his business. If you've got something else to add on to what I've said, guys, please go ahead and put it in the comment section below. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> that is literally it. I was playing around with this mod because of course I'm doing a let's make uh, a mod pack and um, this mod, the Ancient Warfare, I'm hoping to uh, feature quite prevalently in this as well. Now that I know I can do this with it, I'm probably going to take Steve's cards out of, um, you know, let's make a mod pack, although I'm not quite sure. I might leave it in so I can give people two different avenues to be able to explore. Depends on which one that they prefer to use. But anyway, Advanced Warfare, how to use a courier. Until next time, guys, I have been the Tough Man. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.